what is up guys welcome back to another video you may notice there's a couple things different going on here well now i'm on fedora 41 because i am inconsistent as hell it's funny at least you know it's for some reason a little bit better in some ways than fedora 40 i don't recommend installing it don't be me don't be me but this is a browser that is built from firefox called florp I don't know why they have the Spy Kids thing going on, but there you go. And it has its source code, you can download it, and it does all this pointless stuff with the browser. To try to like, look, it thinks it's cool. Windows 7 did this. Windows Vista had this, believe it or not. Like, Windows XP could have had this. But no. Anyway, it's Firefox with vertical tabs. All the same stuff as Firefox, except flexible layout, custom design, and so on and so forth. Yeah, it's also got a dual sidebar, so one over there, one over there. So we download it, we go here, and it says we're on Linux, which we are, and we download this. It doesn't come with a deb or anything, really. Uh, I'm gonna just... Well, I can't. I have to open with Arc, which is absolutely silly, by the way. And it's kind of highly compressed, which is even more annoying. So we're going to extract this to downloads. And OBS is not throwing a fit, which it did when I tried to do this video on Fedora 40. All right, so you have the floop and your floop bin. We're going to open up the floop bin. We're going to open up the browser. And there's no way to actually efficiently install this. Well, you can. You can manually install this if you want. You can go to local, dot local, uh, share, and chuck it into applications and then make a desktop thingy. Or you can install it with Lutris even if you wanted to. But let's just skip and start browsing. Now, I'm not going to import anything from Firefox, okay? This is made by Alblaze. Uh, again, the vertical tabs are not out of the box, but you do have this, bookmarks. And if we go here, we go to settings, uh, and if we head down to design, you can see that the vertical is here. Hit restart. Now we have vertical tabs. Not now. Uh, we go to settings again, we go to design, and you can do a lot. So if you want to collapse them, you get to collapse them. And enable padding at the top. That looks ugly. Let's not do that. As you can see, it has a very awkward, weird design compared to other browsers. I'm going to set it to dark. Dark and enable dual theme. Rounded corners of pages. It's very, it's very Microsoft Edge in a way. You know, because Microsoft Edge does that. I don't know if I like it or not, but it's there. And you can uh, hide this page over here if you want. But I forget where to do it. It's, it's somewhere in here. Yeah, I didn't... I did this video a while ago, so it's just a navigation bar at the bottom weird definitely don't like that I think it's trying too hard if you know what I mean like it's definitely trying too hard yeah uh was it this one yeah there that's gone so that you turn that off from in here okay it has a Firefox sync so you can easily just go log into it if you need to uh it loads pages pretty quick it's, it's not a bad application at all. It just doesn't know what it is. You know, it's one of those applications that it, it doesn't know what it is. And we're going to just quit it. And we're going to reopen it. And, uh, yeah. So, they really need to clean up this corner and this corner. And, well, all the corners look pretty bad. But this just doesn't look good. I mean, I'm sure it's a great browser and all, but personal preference, Microsoft Edge does it way better, and I'm going to get flack for that, but it does. 
Even Firefox does it better. I mean, there's probably like a thing you can install to enable vertical tabs on this guy, but if not, then I guess not. But yeah, this is not worth the vertical tabs. One, this should be a different, this should be the same color as everything else. I mean, you got this long thing going around painting a picture. You should at least, you know, have it blend in a little bit. Yeah, I'll leave it in the description below. You guys can go check it out. Um, with one tab, oh, with actually we have three, four tabs open. It's using a total of, where are you, Florp? Right there. So it's using a total of 233 megabytes, which is not bad at all. Anyway, uh, if you find this browser to be of your, your needs, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be covering more Linux applications. Uh, sorry about this week. I'm just a little bit off my game at the moment. So yeah, uh, if you want to support me, YouTube's got a membership thing. Just click join on memberships and you're good to go. You can check the description for that. And I'll see you guys next time.